All right, everyone. Have you ever heard the quote, if you tell a lie long enough, it becomes truth? It's a great quote. And there's so many of examples of this, but we're going to talk about one specifically today, all right? And it is the over prioritizing the over prioritizing of exercise and cardio, okay? I see this so often. And it's been told for so long that it has become almost a law, a, 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 a law, right? But it's not. It just doesn't work very well. It should never be prioritized. Like it can be a part of the puzzle, right? It's a part of my puzzle. It's a part of my pillar system. I have six pillars, and it's number five. It is not a major prior, a priority uh, in my program, and it shouldn't be in yours. And I get tired of hearing people say, I've got to get my cardio in. They're, they're, they want to lose fat, they want to lose weight, and they keep saying, I've got to find time to get my cardio in. And I, I've got one example, and I've got many of these, to show that that mentality is totally wrong. Go to the finish line of a marathon. Just go hang out. Just hang out at the finish line of any marathon in this country. And you're gonna see something that may surprise you. And it's gonna be a lot of overweight runners crossing the finish line, all right? Number two, bike riders. Go to Key Biscayne in Miami or any area where there's a lot of bike riders. And I'm talking about like professional. These guys are not necessarily professional, but they're, they look like they're professionals. They, they dress like they're professionals. They have spandex tops and spandex bottoms and they have the right shoes and they have a great bike, thousand, $10,000 bike and they're overweight. And they're really good and they can ride for hours, but they're overweight and they're drinking their goo, they're squeezing this fake food into their mouth. But guess what? They're overweight, they're fat, okay? And this happens in aerobic studios. This happens in every gym I've ever been in, the chunky aerobic teacher or the chunky spinning instructor. These people are so in shape, boy, they are so efficient. Their cardio is wonderful, but they are overweight and they are over fat and they are in the best shape of their life. So tell me, what's the problem here? Does the marathon runner need to run further to lose fat? Does the bike rider need to go longer than 100 miles over the weekend to lose fat? Does the chunky aerobic teacher need to do more classes? Does the spinning instructor need to teach more classes to lose weight? No. If you feel that you have to do exercise or cardio to lose weight, then your diet is the problem. If you feel as though that you need to exercise or do cardio to lose weight, then the problem is your diet, period. And that should be your number one priority. I'm not saying you cannot complement your diet with some bike riding or a spinning class or an aerobics class or running outside, all right? I'm not saying you should not exercise. I'm saying it should not be your number one priority. Get your diet right and weight train. If you can get your diet right and weight train two to three days a week and do no cardio, zero cardio, you will lose weight and you will and keep it off for a very long time, right? Aerobic activity or doing aerobic classes or doing any type of aerobic activity is not necessary to lose weight. In fact, no exercise is necessary to lose weight or lose body fat, zero. Does it have health benefits? Of course it does, but you don't need it. Your issue, if you're doing a lot of cardio or think you need to do a lot of cardio, it's not your lack of exercise, it's your poor diet. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them here, and I hope you have a great day.